Whew. Lord Jesus. Hell yeah! What's good, angels? And welcome to episode three of my master class. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be your big thing. We are going to create your exit strategy from point A to point B or to point Z. We gonna figure it out. Planning to move out of a strict Jehovah's Witness home. It can feel like a top secret mission. And girl, it is. I need you to treat this like a game. And every single obstacle is just the next level. The higher the level, the harder it is. But the game, it's a game girl you want to get the prize right and the prize is to move out so we got to make this like a game any challenges that comes up that's just an obstacle okay that's just a challenge we need to get through so we can get to the next level and we level up 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 this is how we gonna plan our escape first things first gather all your important documents i know this may seem like huh but this is what you need to do this is for anyone who has really really strict parents here's what you need and how to get them your birth certificate check if you can find it at home you know how your parents always have that little hiding spot where they put all their important documents yeah, I'm gonna need you to get your birth certificate. If not, you can always request one from your, um... What they call the records office in whatever state you're in. Yeah, you can get it from there. Make sure you have your passport, girl. Get your passport. Get your social security card as well. I just want to make sure y'all have your documents. You don't want to have to be stressing about this later. Get your driver's license. If you don't have one, now is the time to get it and also get a card. That's a big, big step into independence. You need to be able to drive yourself around and take yourself around and have your own license. If that's important to you, get it. Anything having to do with medical records, medication, anything that is specific to you, you better get it. Any important documents, you got that under lock and key. Also, I would recommend you put all of this in like a secret spot. Do not be naive like I was and think that your parents are not gonna snoop through your things. So make sure you find a really, really good hiding spot or you can get a safe and put all your important documents in there. I don't know what type of parents you have. You know your parents best, but I just wanna make sure y'all have your important documents because that is so important to traveling and being independent. You wanna have that on hand. Ooh, this one is important. Hello. Hi, this next one is important. So y'all better be listening bank information Open up your own bank account and if you have one But it's under your parents name or whatever close that and open up your own bank account Make sure your parents aren't under it. Make sure they cannot track your expenses Keep track of your account number your routing number and your online banking <laughs> and your online banking details You need to have this under lock and key your parents No one actually no one should have access to your bank account No one should know how much you're making how much you have in your your savings account. I don't even want them to be knowing you got a savings account. Don't tell them, oh my God, I just saved. No, they're gonna be like, oh, you making money? Okay, you can pay bills. You can pay bills though. I'm not saying you can't help them pay bills as you need to, but you really need to be careful about speaking about how much money you're making. This is where being silent comes in. At no time should anyone have access to your money. This is serious. Create your own bank account. This is how you assert your independence. Have your own bank account and have a checkings and a savings account. Make sure you have a savings account. A lot of JWP parents financially abuse their kids. I knew this one girl who her dad is an elder and you know her mom is an elder Rita. Her parents would not let her get a job, get a license, drive a car. Her parents would not let her do anything. Literally she was only allowed to go to school and back home and I just think that was just crazy. If you've reached 18, you've hit 18 and your parents don't let you get a job, your parents don't let you have your own account, a conversation needs to be had. A conversation needs to be had. Parents who don't allow their grown children to get jobs, to get licensed, to get cars, that is financial abuse abuse. That is control. That is manipulation. Call it how it is. All I'm saying is please make sure to be safe. Have your own bank account. You don't have to tell them everything. Don't tell them you make in your own bank account. Don't tell them about your savings account. Don't even tell them that you have one. And if you have a job, don't tell them how much you make either. Do not tell them how much you make. And if they really, really, really want to know, tell them 70% less of what you get paid. You know your parents the best, so you know how to move. You got to figure out how to move with your parents. You're going to have to figure that out. I can't tell you because I don't know how your parents are. You got to move different. Move in silence move smart. This is how we're gonna plan your escape step by step. You can do this in your moving out journal. Okay, y'all, so I have my journal here. We're gonna plan our escape together, okay? You are not alone. I'm gonna do this with you. We're gonna make a plan together. So let's get into it. Just to explain, I'm gonna put myself in your shoes. I'm gonna act as if I'm you. Let's say my name is Sarah. I'm a 17 year old and I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna move out. I have no job. My parents are hella strict. I don't have a car. I wanna move out, but I don't know how. This 
is how I would make the escape plan. Let's get into it and let's plan it together. Please don't mind the handwriting, okay? So what do I do? I want to move out. I feel like I have no way. My parents are hella strict. What is it I gotta do? First things first, you have to understand that anything could happen. You need to have multiple plans set in place. So you need a plan B. Take your time and brainstorm friends and family to stay with. This is just an example, so I'm just gonna make up a whole bunch of random stuff. But in your case, take the time to think about it and really write it down and think of plan B. This is gonna be your plan B. In case anything happens, you need to move out immediately, you get kicked out, anything can happen. So you need a plan B and you need to brainstorm. Think, who are friends and family that I can stay with? If I get kicked out, where could I go? Where could I really go? What, what are some places I can go to? Friends, family, organizations, resources. Now that we have a plan B and we have some people we already know if something happens we can go with we need to figure out where are we gonna go the next step you gotta figure out is where you gonna move to my suggestion is get the hell out your hometown okay get the hell out your hometown it makes you comfortable you're mad comfortable over there you are truly going to grow if you leave your hometown i understand that's not everybody's path and not everyone wants to leave their hometown but i'm just saying if you really want true growth leave your hometown even if it's just a couple hours away 30 minutes away an hour away four hours away when i moved i moved away from my hometown i moved from south florida and i moved to Tampa at first that was four hours away from where I lived and that was great but maybe you may want to consider going to another state can you go to another state another county another country maybe you don't even want to stay in the country no more maybe you want to get out the country and go to Europe maybe go visit your family in the islands expand your mind I did a video on how you can escape your JW home travel edition go check that out because I give you all the options on how you can study abroad and all the different options for you when it comes to traveling so go check out that video once you do determine do I want to study abroad do I want to go to another country another state a couple hours away you're going to determine where you're gonna go Texas is the state that I decided on we got to figure out where in Texas do we want to go this doesn't have to be just Texas you can choose any place you want this is just an example this is just so you guys can actually see it on paper I want to go to Texas so I wrote down Dallas San Antonio Austin Houston what I would do is go online go on YouTube and look up should I move to Dallas why should I move to San Antonio why should I I moved to Austin. Is it a good place to live? Do your research. This is what I would do if I was trying to figure out where to live. Let's say you are trying to move out of your hometown and you're considering going to another state, or maybe you're considering going a couple hours away. You just want to explore your options. Literally just type in, should I move to, and then type in Dallas. And here's a whole bunch of videos where you can do research. You can do Dallas, and then you can do, should I move to Florida? Here's a whole bunch of videos on should you move to Florida. You can do places to live in USA, top 10 cities everyone is going to. Just do your research. YouTube is an amazing resource where you can learn so much. All you have to do is just type in, should I move here? Should I go here? Really take the time to make sure where you choose to move is the best place for you. Do what makes you feel safe and comfortable. If you know your hometown is where you wanna stay, girl, no one's going to judge you. You know that place like the back of your hand and especially if it's your just your first time moving out and you're just trying to figure things out girl stay exactly where you at it doesn't matter as long as you're out of the house that's the goal dallas is gonna be the winner expand your mind to different options maybe it's another island maybe it's mexico and you can travel abroad you can study abroad you can do something you've never done before think outside of the box now it comes down to jobs if you're moving states what i would recommend is to find a work from home job i highly recommend getting a job where you can work from home there's so many options out there for you you don't want to move and you have no job you need consistent secure stable income coming in every single month and don't worry i'm gonna do a full video on how to research job options leave me alone i know how to spell option okay i know it's o-p-t-i-o-n-s okay so let's just make sure we know what we're doing okay we're not confused we started with brainstorming friends and family you can stay with having a plan b then we figured out where we're gonna move to now that we brainstormed we figured out where we're gonna move to now on our next step which is researching job options how are you gonna get this money how are you gonna get the income this is always the thing that stops people it's the money as long as you have belief in yourself and you know that the perfect job is out there for you the perfect job that's going to provide for you is out there you're set you just need to 
to have an open mind and research like crazy. After we research the job options, the next thing you're going to do is figure out your cost of living. So you already know where you're gonna live, right? Now you need to do an estimate of how much your expenses are going to be. For whatever state you're in, because every state is different, do your research for wherever you're going, estimate how much is the rent gonna be, how much is utilities, gas, groceries, car notes, so you can have a straight figure of how much money you need to be making per month. As for rent, this is gonna depend on if you have roommates or not. This is a time where you need to determine, am I gonna have a roommate? Because if you have roommates, that cuts all your expenses in half. Your rent is in half, your utilities is in half. If you share food, which I don't recommend, but if you do, groceries is in half, everything is in half. Are you going to have roommates or are you living alone? This is gonna determine your cost of living. If you have roommates, it's gonna cut this in half. If you live alone, girl, you paying all of it. Okay, y'all, we're going to learn how to estimate our cost of living. So we're gonna go to numbeo.com. I don't, is that, that's how you say it, right? Numbeo, I, I don't know, numbeo.com. And once you get here, this is where we're gonna figure out our cost of living. You can choose any location, anywhere that you'd like in the world you can choose. Let's just choose Atlanta, okay? Say you wanna move to Atlanta. Remember, you can always choose any city that you want. Just click on select city. Just for the example, we're gonna go with Atlanta, Georgia. When you scroll down, it's going to give you an estimate of everything. How much are the restaurants? What's an estimate of groceries there? How much is for a taxi? How much is for gas? And down here, it gives you an estimate on how much your monthly utilities will be. Over here, we have the estimate, see? And then it also gives you an estimate on your phone plan, internet, Wi-Fi. This is how you can plan, you can set your savings goals, you can budget. It gives you an idea of how much it's going to be depending on the state you're moving to. If you scroll down, it even gives you an estimate of how much rent will be. It gives you an estimate on how much rent would be. Does that make sense, y'all? Okay, and then if you scroll down here, it also has nearby cities. So if you're not really sure where you wanna go, you can click on these other cities and just research. Use this to your advantage. Research, have fun with it, look at different cities, look at different estimates. Maybe you wanna leave your hometown, maybe you wanna go four hours away, two hours away, half an hour away, whatever it may be. Do your research, sis, okay? I'll Good. When it comes to making your escape plan, you need to know how much you need to be making per month so you can make those saving goals. You can figure out how much money do I need to be making per month so I can save it. You need to set saving goals and you need to start budgeting. Next, we are going to start looking at housing options. This is your time to figure out are you gonna be staying at college or are you gonna have your own apartment next to the campus? Figure this out. You need to figure out what you wanna do. If you wanna stay in dorm, then you need to start looking for roommates. Do your research at your specific college and figure it out. I would say get a dorm, that's the easiest, especially straight out of high school. You're around people who are starting off life just like you, you won't feel so alone. Stay at a dorm, roommates, or live alone. The next thing you're gonna do is get an apartment locator or realtor. This is key. You do not want to be stressed looking for an apartment. Have the realtor do all that work for you, especially if you're moving to another state. Get someone who knows the area, who knows where it's safe, who knows the best options, who knows the best prices, the best deals. This is where I'm gonna tell you to go check out this video right here on how to find a realtor slash apartment locator. Get an apartment locator, okay? Even if you lived in the area, you know the area like the back of your hand, this is gonna help with your stress so much. Get a realtor, get an apartment locator. I did a full video on this on how you can find the perfect realtor who's actually gonna help you. It's gonna help the whole process so much. There's nothing like having a realtor who just takes care of all that stress. They know the area, they know exactly what you want and they're gonna get you what you want. This is gonna cut down the stress so much it's crazy like just get a realtor and get an apartment locator and if you don't know how check out my video on how to find one now that your realtor has put you on it is time to tour 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 okay if you are thinking of going to another state buy the ticket bro buy the flight ticket take a tour drive the four hours and tour the apartment this is what's going to change your reality you need to see yourself in the apartment you need to actually see it smell it taste it touch it feel 
feel it, everything. You need all your senses there. You need to visualize. You need to see yourself in the apartment. Tour as often as you can. Tour the most luxurious apartments. Even if you know you can't afford it right now, tour the apartments. Every single week, have an apartment tour. Even if you're not moving for like another year or two, get your mindset in that vibe of like, oh yeah, I'm used to apartments. Like I'm moving out soon. This is such a crucial part to your plan. You want to tour the apartments regularly so you can see it because pictures are always different than in person. After getting our tour and everything, we need to make sure y'all have transportation. Ew, okay, my writing, I promise you I write so much better. I really do, I really do. Okay, your next task is to work on getting a car. A car is the first step to your independence, girly. First step to getting your independence. So get your license and make sure you get a car and figure out how you can do it. Even if you need to get a little hoopty doopty just to get you by, just to take you from point A to point B, just work on getting a car that can take you from point A to point B and get a license. This is going to help you with your independence. Once you do that, you're gonna figure out your transportation costs. Are you gonna have a car or are you gonna be taking the bus? Are you gonna be taking Ubers? Are you gonna be taking the train, subways, depending on where you live. If you live in New York, go in a little subway, okay? For the most part, you gotta figure out your transportation costs so you can add into how much you need to save. Let's get to actually planning our move. That was the pre-plan. We had to figure out all of this stuff first so now we can actually plan our plan i did not mean to say plan our plan i'm about to lol plan our move you need to figure out when are you gonna move is it gonna be a year two years six months figure this out and this part is crucial because you have to be realistic you can't play yourself even though your heart may want to move in six months may want to move today yesterday you have to be honest with your situation maybe you may want to move in six months but maybe a year is better for you so you can save and you can grow and you can get more mental strength and more skills until you're actually ready to move out be realistic sis be realistic it's time time that we set a date this is what's going to make you so happy once you have a date to look forward to no one can tell you nothing you need to set a date okay so today's august 7th so we gonna say today's august 7th 2024 this is when i make my plan let's say i'm gonna move in a year so I, i'm saying i'm moving out August 7, 2025. This is when I'm moving. The date is set in motion. Put it in your calendar, put it in your phone, put it everywhere so you see that date and you have something to look forward to and it's not just like, ugh, I wonder when I'm gonna move out. No, you know exactly when. You got a date, so you gotta work. When you have a deadline, it's gonna light a fire under your booty to move and work. So you need to set a date, set deadlines, okay? Because if you're not realistic, you're going to burn out, you're gonna feel overwhelmed, you're gonna feel stuck, stagnant, you're gonna feel like you're not accomplishing anything, you're not doing anything, you're not gonna see your wins, you're not gonna see how far you've come, you're not gonna feel like you're going anywhere. So you need to set monthly deadlines and you need to set a date. You need to decide if you're going to be moving in six months, two years, a year and a half, you need to get Give yourself a date look in your calendar and set a deadline this will be different for everyone because your date is gonna look different okay not everyone's date is gonna look the same so maybe you're gonna be moving in two years three years six months do what works for you make it yours customize this to however it works for you i am moving august 7th 2025 that is my date that is set that's on my calendar it is my moving out date okay we're gonna add it in moving oh can i type Moving out day bit set your date this is what's gonna make you so happy it's gonna keep you motivated all the time you're always gonna be motivated but you need to have a date set moving out day ah, august 7 2025 period this is our date this is what's going to make us so happy okay this is what's gonna keep you motivated i wrote out all of the months it's a whole year from now so i wrote out all the months if you have six months left eight months left two years left whatever it is write out the months this is how you can see it right in front of you and you can check yourself and keep yourself in check because you have deadlines you have things due at certain times now what we're gonna do is go back here and all of these things that we got to do all of these tasks all of these tasks here we're going to input it into our months does that make sense 
Okay, so for example, so in August, I'm gonna brainstorm plan B. September, I'm gonna figure out where I need to move. In October, I'm gonna find a job and work. In November, I'm gonna find a realtor. In December, I'm gonna book the flight to Dallas so I can tour. Maybe you're not booking the flight. Maybe you're driving a couple hours to where you wanna move to, then put that down. In January, you could find roommates because you decided, I'm gonna get roommates. Girl, it's way too expensive. I'm gonna get me some roommates. Or maybe, maybe you wanna stay at a dorm. So maybe in February, I'm gonna look for dorm options. And then after that, in March, I'm gonna work on getting a car. And then in April, I'm gonna start budgeting everything. And then in May, I'm going to get packing supplies. I don't know. In June, I could be like, okay, I'm gonna estimate expenses. This is very flexible. You can do this however you want, but do you guys get the gist of it? This is where we really planned out everything. This is going to be a brain dump. I need you to treat this like a brain dump. It does not have to be perfect. You can erase as you want, white out as you want, eliminate what you need to, add what you need to. Don't make this an overwhelming process. You're gonna brain dump everything you need to do and everyone's situation is gonna be different. You're gonna take all of this, all your plans, everything you need to do, you write it down. Get it out of your head and onto paper. I'm all for writing things down so you can see it. It makes things so much easier. And then you're gonna write out how long you have. Write out your dates, okay? The date is right here. This is when we move in. And then write out the months and then put your tasks in each of it so you have it in bite-sized pieces so you know exactly what you need to do and when and you're not stressed and you can celebrate your wins because you're gonna be ticking things off of your checklist. Like, oh yeah, I'm actually getting things done. I'm actually making progress. This is the escape plan, y'all. It's not a one-size-fits-all, but this is just like a basic idea of how you can plan just to get it on paper and you can figure it out. There's so many other ways you could do this, but this is just an idea. Just get it off on paper, have a little brain dump. If you have any questions please let me know i should turn this around right i should be showing me right y'all don't even look at me because right now girl girl oh my god that is how you plan that is how you make your escape plan okay it's not a one size fits all but i promise you you're going to get it you're going to get it just write down what you want to do and you can add in as you need and take out as you need i'm trying to think if i'm forgetting anything Take your time with it and remember your journey is unique. Anything you need to plan, you write it down. And remember your situation is unique. Your story is unique. Maybe you can add into your plans by May. I'm gonna stop going to meetings completely. By this time, I'm gonna stop preparing for meetings completely. You need to also incorporate this into your life. Incorporate what you need to do into your plan. And your plan is unique. I don't know your story directly. You need to just make it work for you. Stop doing JW stuff. Try to exert as little to no energy to JW stuff and focus on your goals the goal is to move out that's it where there's a will there's a way you're gonna find a way thank you guys so much for watching i hope that made sense i know it's a little all over the place my hand was like shaking a lot so the handwriting wasn't there i promise you i can write well okay i i, I really can i really can i love y'all i just want to see y'all grow i want to see you guys do good because i know that's what's meant for you you guys are meant to be successful your success is inevitable this life was not meant for you you were meant to succeed you were meant to do better you are meant to grow to prosper to actually move out so let's get it let's move out get your moving out journal and make your escape plan okay this is a full exit strategy plan on how you can do it your story is unique i can't write your book for you you need to figure that out but guess what guess what i did give you a guide so at least now you got a guide on like kind of what to do you at least have an idea so if you have any questions let me know i'd be more than happy to help you and if you guys really like this series and you're loving this master class drop this emoji down below okay i want to know because i really want to know drop this emoji down below because yes girl drop it down below if you are feeling this master class okay thank you guys so much for watching i love you y'all at a bomb.com okay bomb.com they the bomb.com hola mi corazón Son, mi corazón, papito. Ay, tu papá, ay, 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 cu, cu, quito. Ay, yo, 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 le ha roto, papá. You got this, angels. I'm so proud of you. And thank you guys so much for watching. Your homework is to write out your plan, figure out what your cost of living is gonna be, how much money you need to be making. Do you have a job? Do you have a car? How are you gonna get all those things? Write it down. Plan your escape. Plan your exit strategy set deadlines and set goals we got this all right we are moving up okay episode four ah! if you like what you see and you want to see more of me if you like what you see and you want to see more of me hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the fam and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye Whew.
Ooh, girl. I'm learning how to do my makeup little by little. I'm trying, okay? I'm trying. <laughs>